Hello and welcome inside our ACC Digital Network Studios. Kyle Montgomery, Dorsey Levens alongside. And with 2011 officially in our rear view, we can look ahead to the 2012 season. Excited, Dorsey? Let's do it, man. I'm excited. Uh, bowl season wasn't too friendly to the ACC uh, this year. Uh, two and six. But we did see some things throughout the season and bowl season to be optimistic about. Had some teams and a lot of players uh, make some strides. Who's going to be the offensive player to watch next year? Well, of course, I, everybody's going to be watching Sammy Watkins from Clemson because sure. I think he's going to be a Heisman candidate. But I think the guy who's going to be under the radar that we need to pay special attention to is North Carolina State's quarterback, Mike Glennon. Finished the season 3-0, passed over 3,000 yards. We saw a steady improvement throughout the year. He's a tall kid, strong arm, can see over the line of scrimmage. I expect big things from him next season. Yeah, uh, first, first year as a starter. The... Uh the Russell Wilson shadow kind of looming over. I think he stepped out of that. Uh, 31 touchdowns, 12 interceptions this year. How about the defensive side of the ball? Who are we looking for? Same thing defensively. Everybody's going to be looking at uh, North Carolina State's Dave Amerson because he had so many interceptions last season. But keep an eye on Florida State defensive end Brandon Jenkins. He's on a defense that finished fourth in the country last year. He had eight sacks. He'll be the leading sack getter from last year coming back this season in the ACC. That whole defense is going to be incredible, though. Nine of 11 starters yeah, returning. Yeah. Uh, Greg Reed's coming back, uh, didn't decide to go pro. So look for those guys uh, to wreak some havoc next year in the ACC. Yeah, eight sacks this year, a down year for him. He had 13 and a half his sophomore year. Could have opted to go to the NFL. Instead, he's choosing to come back. He's definitely going to help that Florida State defense. All right, who's your surprise team? My surprise team is going to be a big surprise. I'm going to go with the University of Maryland. I know they finished 2-10. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. This is the same Maryland that finished dead last in the conference, two and ten. That, that's the Maryland I'm talking about. Oh, hey, okay. Yeah, let me Please tell you explain. why. Let me tell you why. One, I believe in Randy Etzel. I've known Randy Etzel since high school. He's a great recruiter, a great defensive mind. Only his first year as a coach, and he's got two quarterbacks. Uh, we had a little controversy last year with C.J. Brown and Danny O'Brien. Yeah. I think this year he just hired a new offensive coordinator as well. We're going to find a quarterback that works with his, within his system, and they're going to make big strides this year. All right, let's take a look at some of the, the bigger non-conference games the early part of the season and schedule. we got West Virginia uh, against Florida State on September the 8th, uh, Florida State at South Florida on the 29th, Auburn and Clemson, you know, the SEC uh, matchup there is always going to be interesting in Atlanta. Notre Dame against Miami on October 6th, and Miami at Kansas State. You know, I'm from Kansas, so, but I won't take any sides now. That, that one could be good as well. Which one of these sticks out to you the most, and what are you expecting now? Uh, the biggest one is West Virginia and Florida State. We saw what West Virginia's offense did uh, in the bowl game against Clemson. Florida State's defense is supposed to be one of the tops in the country. I want to see what happens when a great defense meets a great offense. Something's got to give, and I think Florida State's going to, going to take it. Are, are you meaning to say that Clemson didn't play great defense? They didn't <laughs> at all. <laughs> I, shouldn't have, I shouldn't have did that. That was me. All right, overall, who's your pick to win it, win the conference next year? Win everything. I, I got to go with Florida State. They say defense wins championships. They're going to have a great defense. Offensively, quarterback EJ uh, Manuel is coming back. I think he's going to have a great year. I'm going with Florida State. Jimbo Fisher, like we talked about earlier, is one year removed uh, further away from Bobby Bowden's shadow. So I think he's going to have less pressure on him. I'm going with Florida State. So that's the outlook for 2012 through the eyes of Dorsey Levens, the knowledgeable one. We'll see you next time right here on the ACC Digital Network.